I do not like cancel culture. I want it to be tied in a box. I want it to be tied in a knot. I do not want it here or there. I do not want it anywhere. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. When I was a kid, I used to read like a lot of Dr. Seuss books. I read stuff like The Grinch, The Cat in the Hat, and also like the Fish book. And basically it kind of helped me learn how to, you know, talk and speak and all that kind of jazz. And so naturally, of course, I had nothing but respect to Dr. Seuss and his hundreds of books that he made during his lifetime. Probably not hundreds of books, but you know what I'm saying, right? However, it seems as though that Dr. Seuss has been a subject of a controversy because of accusations of racism for at least six different books. Six Dr. Seuss books won't be published for racist images. Six Dr. Seuss books, including Into Think I Saw It on Melbury Street and If I Ran the Zoo, will stop being published because of racist and unsensitive imagery to business that preserves and protects the author's legacy said Tuesday. These books portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong, Dr. Seuss Enterprises told the Associated Press in a statement that concluded with the late author's and illustrator's birthday. Seizing sales of these books is only part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises' catalog represents and supports all communities and families, it said. The other books affected are McElligot's Pull, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, and The Cast Quizzler. The decision to see publication and sales of the books were made last year after months of discussion the company which was founded by Seuss's family told AP. Dr. Seuss Enterprise listened and took feedback from our audience, including teachers, academics, and specialists in the field as part of our review process. We then worked with a panel of experts, including educators, to review our catalogs of titles. I find this whole entire controversy to be a bit strange because according to the statement like I read before, they had like an expert panel of like professors and also teachers and whatnot to review the material to declare whether it's racist or not so that Dr. Seuss Enterprises will not publish the books anymore. However, upon like, you know, discovering the books myself, because like the first time I've ever seen these books before, I don't really think that the images that I spotted were actually really racist at all. Now the first image right here is pretty much says like a Chinaman with sticks. However, I'm kind of curious, like what is so offensive with that statement? We know for a fact that most Asian people, they eat with chopsticks, right? And so that's actually a true statement that Chinese people or like Asian people in general eat with chopsticks. Is it now not politically correct to say that Asian people eat with chopsticks? Like, come on guys, like that is not racist in the slightest. The second image of course has some Asian people, but again, I don't see how racist that is. Now this one has an image of an Eskimo and also the fish with Eskimo kind of outfits. Again, I don't see the racism in these kind of images. So again, people who are Eskimos have these sort of outfits. This image has some sort of Middle Eastern guy on a camel, but again, at least in Egypt, Middle Eastern guys go on camels. This is based upon reality. That's not racist. This one again has some sort of Eskimos, but honestly, I don't see the racism at all. So here we have like a whole entire company just freaking out over images of like the Eskimos, images of a Chinese person with chopsticks. Like all these sort of images that I showed you guys just right now are stuff that the company is freaking out over because of teachers, professors, and experts, experts in quotation marks, who thought that those stuff is kind of racist. However, honestly, in my eyes, and I'm pretty sure in your guys' eyes too, none of this stuff right here that I just showed right now is actually racist. But this whole entire controversy gets crazier because apparently, like, you know, eBay does not want to sell books that promote hate. I find it so strange that eBay claims that they don't want to have some sort of hateful content on their site, Yet at the same time, they have freaking copies of Mein Kampf on their sites. Freaking Mein Kampfs. We're living in some sort of topsy-turvy universe where basically it's perfectly okay to sell Mein Kampf on eBay without any problems, but if you sell Dr. Seuss books, 
you have big problems. It's the same thing for cuties. It's perfectly fine to sexualize little girls, but for some strange reason, the books that are done by Dr. Seuss are too much in comparison to that kind of crap on Netflix. It's so strange and so bizarre, and to this very day, I honestly do not get it. I just don't get it. March the 6th, Dr. Seuss Racist Book Burning, 9 p.m. Ocean Beach. Bring your collection of Dr. Seuss institutional racism to the Ocean Beach fire pits near the main guard tower on March the 6th at 9 o'clock p.m. We have a bonfire to ensure this hateful material is permanently removed to protect our children from learning hate. While it's true that in the past that Dr. Seuss used to make some sort of horrific images about like, you know, Jewish people and Asian people and so on, that was like during the time period of World War II, where pretty much he made propaganda for World War II. However, later on in his life, he made books that actually did not dehumanize people. He later regret those kind of stuff that he did in the past by making books such as Horton Cures a Who. So while it's true that he did, in fact, do awful stuff in the past, he changed as a person, and actually, you know, people are complicated. You cannot focus on one type of history to, you know, define everybody, because humans are multi-layer. And so to just focus on the bad stuff and not the good stuff is actually being dishonest. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.